Hello everyone. In last lecture, we have discussed different types of elastic moduli. In today's lecture, I am going to discuss work done for unit volume in stretching a wire. Okay. Now, what I will do, I am going to consider one wire and it is having a cross sectional area A and initial length L and its one end is fixed. Now what I am going to do, I am going to apply some amount of force F. Then what happens here at final stage? there is increase in length of the wire initially it is the original length this is the change in length and it is the area of cross section here what we have done simple initially we have considered one wire and it is having some initial length l and area of cross section a then we have applied a force f then after applying force F, this body undergoes deformation that is there is increase in length of this wire after applying force F. Okay. Now what I will do to derive expression for work done for unit volume, I am going to consider intermediate stage that is this is the wire and it is having some initial length L at intermediate stage this is the situation that is it is the original length and small l is there is small increase in length of this wire. Now at intermediate stage here I am going to apply some amount of force small f after applying small f amount of force there is increase in length of this wire and we denote this change very and we denote this small change by dl here what we have done we have taken a wire and it is having some initial length L then initial length at intermediate stage there is change in length of this wire that is denoted by small l and here we have applied small amount of force F then after applying this force F there is small increase in length of this wire and we denote this small change in length by dl and here a small amount of work is done to increase the small length that is dl okay here now work done for small increase in length dl is given by it is simple work done d w is equals to the amount of force applied that is vector f and the small change in length dot product of small change in length. Now here I am going to remove this dot product that is this equation becomes f into dl into cos theta. But here the direction of force this is the direction of force and also here we can see that the increase of length that is small change in length its direction both the directions are same. So the angle between them is that is theta is equals to 0 degree. Then if you substitute theta value that is f into dl into cos 0 is equals to where cos 0 is equals to 1 then this equation becomes f into dl. 
here you can see that the small amount of work done is equals to force into change in length okay now let us see the next point here we have already derived that the change in the small amount of work done which is equals to force into change in length here the total work done for the entire stretch that is delta L here we have already derived that a small amount of work done is equals to force into change in length now we are going to calculate the total amount of work done and the total amount of work done is given by here you can see that initially the amount of work done w is zero and final the amount of work done is W. So the equation becomes dW integration of dW. Initially, amount of work done is zero, and finally, the amount of work done is W. So this equation becomes integral zero to W into dW, and which is equals to integral f into dl here in this diagram you can see that the change in length initially change in length is zero and finally we observe that there is change in length delta l so the limits are from zero to delta l here the total work done for the entire stretch delta L will be integral 0 to W dW is equals to integral 0 to delta L F into dL. Okay. Here in last class we have discussed that Young's modulus and let us recall Young's modulus. Young's modulus is given by longitudinal stress by longitudinal strain and if you simplify this equation this equation becomes f into l divided by a into delta l here Young's modulus is equals to f into l divided by a into delta l and I am going to interchange terms then the amount of force f which is equal to a into delta l divided by l into x modulus here force is equals to area of cross section change in length divided by original length into Young's modulus which gives the this equation gives the amount of force applied now what i'm going to do here i'm going to write Young's modulus for intermediate stage that is Young's modulus y is equals to here in place of capital F we are going to write a small f that is we have applied at intermediate stage a small amount of force so small f divided by a divided by change in length in the place of delta L we are going to write at intermediate stage L is the change in length and delta L is the a small change in length here we are going to denote this entire change by small l because 
the change in length that is dl is very small so we are going to neglect this dl and we are we are going to write the change in length by small l so here this equation becomes small l divided by original length then if you interchange terms we are going to get angst modulus is equals to force into length divided by a into small l right f is equals to a into l a into l divided by l into angst modulus here the small amount of force applied is equals to area of cross section change in length and original length into angst modulus okay now let us move to next point here we have already derived that total amount of work done is equals to integral 0 to w dw is equals to integral 0 to delta l f into tl here i am going to substitute the small amount of force that is f value then this equation becomes integral 0 to delta l a into l into y divided by original length into tl this is the now i am going to integrate this equation then after integration we get integration of dw is given by w and limits are 0 to w which is equals to a is constant so we are going to take a outside and l is also constant y is also constant then l is variable so we are going to integrate this l then after integration l becomes l square by 2 and the limits are 0 to delta l then this equation becomes w is equals to a into y in divided by l into delta l square divided by 2 now here we have calculated the total amount of work done and which is equals to a into y divided by l into delta l square by 2 now i am going to calculate work done for unit volume that is simple w divided by v which is equals to here we have calculated work done value and it is a into y divided by l into delta l whole square divided by 2 i v that is work done for unit value here we are going to replace v value that is v is equals to area into length in place of v we are going to substitute a into l then this equation becomes a into y divided by l into delta l delta l divided by 2 a into l and if you simplify this equation we are going to get 1 by 2 a into y into delta l divided by l into delta l 
divided by a into l but we know that force f is equal to a into y into change in length by original length this gives the force value if you substitute by f we get we are going to get 1 by 2 f divided by a into delta l divided by f here f by a is nothing but stress and delta l by l gives longitudinal strain so this equation becomes 1 by 2 stress into strain simple the amount of work done for unit volume which is equal to 1 by 2 into stress into strain okay this is all about the amount of work done for unit volume for stretching wire thank you